Greetings, uh, this is Mark Kubich at Elkton Middle School, and I'm here today to teach you how to use DeltaMath.com. Uh, it's a great resource. I've, uh, I found it very beneficial in the classroom. Um, so you'll go to DeltaMath.com, and uh, you'll get a, a page that looks like this. And from here, you'll need to create an account as a teacher, and you have to enter some basic information. But down here, where it says Class Setup, is where you enter additional information. So for example, let's say you had, um, you know, four classes. You could take block one, block two, block three, block four, or maybe you want to make block one, block two, block three, and then an advanced math so you can differentiate within your class. That's also an option. Once you have created an account, it will send you just a kind of a confirmation email uh, welcome to De Delta Math, and it'll give you a code so that when students go to deltamath.com, so for example, uh, when they go to uh, Delta Math and they create a student account, they will enter that code and then put their information in and the class section that they're in, which is all provided right there, that you create it, and it'll give you it'll give them a count. But now that I have done that, um, I'm using this so that I can, uh, this email so I can start fresh with you all and uh, you don't have any access to seeing my student scores or whatnot out there, keep their privacy. Um, it'll generate um, a list where you go to manage students and classes. Um, you know, it'll generate a list of all the students that are in that class right here. Um, and from there, you go. You can go and assign different types of activities. Um, blue tends to be for middle school because it's got an M, but it goes up to algebra, geometry resources, algebra two, precalculus, calculus, um, and uh, so forth. I don't know if that's computer science or whatnot. So you click student data. You can view the assignments they've done. You can look at the problem so okay this student got this many wrong or whatnot and you can also view when a student last was on the program um, if you want to create an assignment you create a standard assignment okay and here it gives you an opportunity to call it something so for example let's say that i want to give an assignment on um, exponents um, and I want to convert a number to scientific notation. I can click that and it'll show me, okay, like here they would have to, you know, count how many, you know, exponents there were and submit an answer. And it would tell them, yes, you got it big. And it would give a very brief description of how to work it out. Unlike IXL, which is, you know, essays. And if they get it wrong, so 5.6, Let's say I put a four again instead of a two. And I submit it. It'll say no, and it'll kind of give a short, brief description. Um, but let's say I wanted to assign that. I'd call it exponents. I would select the classes. I can select all of them or just an individual one. Um, and when I want, maybe I want to assign it at a specific date on a specific time. Um, Maybe I just want to kind of save it for later, or I want to sign it immediately. Um, and then you go to skills, and that's where, when you click on this, it has like a little green plus. I click that, it adds it over here. I click the minus, it takes it away. So I'm going to add it. And then I have the opportunity how many problems I want to assign. Maybe I want to assign 20, or 15, or 5, or whatnot. Um, and uh, do I want it to show the example or whatnot? Um, how much do I want to weight each problem? How many attempts do I give them? Um, I usually set it for two, so if they get it wrong, they'll say you didn't get it right, and it'll give them an opportunity to try again. Um, and then you can set a due date. So, for example, this is going to be due on the 16th, Monday the 16th. It's going to be due at 3 o'clock. Um, so I'm going to change that. And then I can add a later date. Um, maybe I say if you turn it on on the 17th, you're only going to get 95% credit for it. 
um, or, or whatnot. That's an option you have, and then you click create an assignment. Um, there are also other types of assignments. So um, when I, if I wanted to create another type of assignment, maybe I want to do multiplication tables, um, and I want to select it for my by block one, they're really struggling with that or something. Um, and I'll go over to the skills under the mental math. This is a different type of activity where they have a time limit. So they have like 100 seconds and they have to figure this out. Six times four, 24, ah, oh, five times two is 10. But if they get it wrong and like, let's say they said this was 40, it'll highlight that and then they start over and practice again. Um, and you could theoretically, if I added that, I could say, oh, you've got five and you've got 100 seconds, or you've got 30 and you've got, I could change that to 300 seconds and, and so forth. So um, let me just go ahead and create that assignment in this fake class for you all. Um, now, if you want to view the assignments and the scores, you click View Assignments. All your students will populate here what class they're in the average and what average grade for all the Delta math activities and then the percent for each specific um, like here's their multiplication tables here's our exponents and whatnot um, and you can look at maybe just a block at a time um, you can also always look at us if you want to see what your students see under the tools there's a um, sample student page that you can look at so um, this is what it would look like for my advanced class. They would get that, they would click on it, and they would have to get 20. Um, if they get a question wrong, if you set a penalty, um, you know, they, uh, sometimes you might just turn the penalty off, but if they get a question wrong, then it takes one away from their score. Um, but if you just want it to be get 20 correct, you can remove the, the penalty. Um, so forth. I hope that video was helpful. Um, sorry if it was a little rushed. Um, I was trying to think of all the things that I would need as a you know, first time user. Um, if you want to edit the assignment, of course, you can click create edit, edit that assignment. Maybe I want to extend the due dates. Maybe I want to add something else like with exponents. Maybe I want to do two, two things um, and so forth. Um, or maybe I want to see student last action and go there, or the problem logs. Um, but there's a there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things that you can do with uh, Delta Math. I'm still learning myself, but I hope this video was helpful. Bye.